And that's the little baby run. He's very cute. Saw a big green moray and decided to tattoo it on him. We got some more coral down here. They're so stinking cute when they're this little. Hey! But it looks like they are fertile. Looks like there's some veins inside of there. Yo, you cannot procreate with Gary. Just no. All right, Bruce, looks like we're uh, fixing your cage today because I just put my freaking foot through the floor. It's always something crazy to do over here. You hungry, dude? It's a turtle. You should love turtles. See, how come Bruce couldn't get with the program? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's the goods right there, dog. Down the hatch. Their teeth are just so sharp. As much as I love you, I need my fingers. Wow. Hey, look who we got over here. What's up, Jeremy? What's going on, bro? How are you? Good, nice to see you. Well, you got all my birds over here just like hanging out with you? Bird person. Saying hi? Hi, Gary. Good morning, Gary. Leave him alone, Richard. How are you, Gary? Hey, Richard, get your tongue out of my mouth. Get out of there, you sicko. You little poop eater. Don't be licking my mouth, man. You eat all sorts of gross stuff out here, dude. Blue. Yo, you cannot procreate with Gary. That is not going to work, so don't even try humping him right now, okay? I'll say hi to you too, Otis. Hello, how are you? Yo, literally, the turkey's trying to bang the freaking emus right now. Relax, dude. Be nice to these sweet creatures. Hello, how are you, Otis? So cute. Hi. Those little guys are cute, right? So cute. I just sold this morning two of the females. That one right there that you're holding, and then the smaller one. And then I think I'm gonna keep the other little baby female. Richard, you better behave. You're gonna get head but This little baby right here, this female, so stinking cute. Yeah, this little one right there. Woo! She's just adorable. Just look at the markings on her. She's so pretty. Definitely keeping that one. And that's it. All the goats are uh, are gone. Richard, relax. He's just trying to play. You be nice, Rich. Look at him. Be nice, Richard. Look at the goat. is like, what the heck is that? And Brady. You proud daddy? Go pee all over yourself, you sicko. Get him, Brady. Get him. Get him, dude. Teach Richard a lesson. He needs to learn one, right? You just want to be cuddled, huh? You just want some love, Brady. Yes, that's all you want. And that's the little baby runt. He's very cute. Hello. All right, so we got a few things to do today. Today should be a pretty cool video. Jeremy's over here. I tattooed Jeremy yesterday. You wrapped up right now? No, let me see that thing real quick. So did a tattoo for his wife. Got this whole sweet underwater leg sleeve on him. All right, so yesterday we did this super sweet trunk fish for his wife. It came out awesome. And then we got a bunch of coral down here. We got this freaking hammerhead that we did a while ago. We got some more coral on the front. And then this is that green moray we made a video about. We went on a dive, saw a big green moray and decided to tattoo it on him. We got some more coral down here. Then we got the lionfish. See that bad boy? Hey Travis, what are you doing? What are you doing little man? And then this is the first piece I did on Jeremy. This big old octopus right here. Still super sweet. So Jeremy comes down from Denver. And uh, he actually helped me do my whole security system and all the cameras here at the property. But uh, he wanted to see before he went home, he wants to see the uh, the new Gaboon Viper. So we're gonna go in the snake room, show him the snake room, how that's looking right now. And then those Alcata tortoises laid eggs, maybe like, what, a week ago, Brandon? About a week ago. Yeah, probably about a week ago. So we got a big clutch of sulcata eggs. We're gonna get into why we're not gonna incubate them and all that stuff here in a little bit. But we're gonna dig those up and do something with them. So stay tuned. Yeah, so we're a little full over here, which is awesome. The room is looking really good. We've got decorations up, paintings going up. So we've ruminated the hog nose things, obviously you guys know, but the other day me and Brandon put a bunch of males together. So we got a bunch of things paired up over here. Like 11 has her little boyfriend with them. They were banging. This one doesn't have a male in there. Room Hilda has a male in here. You know what? I'm actually gonna take him out. Excuse me. Put him in here. Switch you around. Here you go. New girls. Get you some strange dog. And then we got dragon and sunflower right here. Hopefully they were banging too. Yeah. Just trying to do things over here, you know? Oh, so this is another beaded lizard from my boy, Steve. Steve over in California. I'll put his information down below. The best when it comes to Gila monsters and beaded lizards, and he breeds a bunch, a bunch of other various venomous. But this is, you know, one of the three venomous lizards in the world. You gotta be really careful when you try to pick this little guy up, go from the bottom, so he doesn't try to eat me. Hey, relax, dude. If he does bite, he holds on. The other one is pretty chill. You can just kind of scoop up just like this, and he won't try to attack you or bite you. Not attack more just being defensive than anything. But they're just so stinking cute when they're this little. Hey, be careful. 
Now these guys, when they bite, they don't just like bite and let go. They bite and latch on. And then they have venom glands and they excrete the venom through their teeth. It makes you very, very sick. It's not a lethal bite, but you'll want to be dead because it's just excruciating pain. So yeah, this is the newest baby from Steve. Steve wants to get tattooed when he comes down for the uh, the Daytona Expo. Ooh, look how fast they are. They're freaking, they're like little alligators. They just turn on the dime like that. And then the other one that I got from him is this one. And you guys remember how little this one was when I first got him. Look how much bigger he is already. Like, he's just like, look, put on so much size. Like, he's the size of my freaking hand now. And he's in shed. So, hey, relax. Excuse me, sir. Relax. It's okay. You see the inside of their mouth, too? Just jet black. So freaking cool. And they just have the cutest faces ever. Like, look at how the little, that little face is. So this is what they look like as babies. Babies, they have all these yellow spots. And they look super, super cool. This one, Steve was telling me, is going to be a high yellow adult. So hopefully this yellow kind of stays there and it'll change over time. You know what the adults look like, Jeremy? Huh? You know what the adults look like? Yeah, you showed them to me before. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you again real quick. And these guys are only maybe three or four years old. So they're gonna continue to grow. They'll even get probably twice the size of this. But as you can see, like all that yellow, super yellow still. They have all those little bumps and ridges on their faces. And then they're just super chill as adults. They really calm down. Now, obviously I've met some beaded that are adults that are big that still try to rip your head off and they're super aggressive. But dude, these guys are just, they're so cool, right? So cool. Super rad. And they like to climb too. They're not really as terrestrial as the Gila monsters. They like are known to climb bushes and trees and stuff. So having an arboreal setup for them is super cool. Definitely gonna do that. Cause at night I like to come in here, you know, and then they, they're out about at night climbing in all the trees and stuff. It's super freaking cool. Okay, so we got the Sulcatas. We got Big Roof, who I don't think, it wasn't Big Roof that laid eggs, it was this one, right? This one. Whatever the frick this one's name is. I don't remember what her name is, but this is the female that laid a bunch of eggs. And as you guys know, or if you don't know, sulcata tortoises are the number one rehomed tortoise. Or do I have so many? I would have even more if I took them all in. People hit me up a couple times a month with sulcata tortoises that they can't take care of anymore and they want to give them to me. I just don't have the room. They are very destructive. They break out of their pens all of the time. Even Ruth right here, she's 125 pounds. She's a bulldozer and she'll bulldoze her right through everything. So they're a pain in the butt to keep. And that being the reason, why we are not going to keep these eggs and incubate them. I'm gonna dig them up, we're gonna feed them off to the monitors. Hopefully it's gonna be a nice little delicacy treat. The monitors are gonna enjoy a nice little egg meal. The monitors love the chicken eggs, so why not tortoise eggs, right? So this is where they laid the eggs. We thought that she was digging out the other day and it ended up, she kind of backed up into this hole right here and laid all of her eggs in here. So I just wanna go down, we're gonna just start carefully digging. Let's see how many eggs we got in here. There should be a lot, man. I remember Brandon got a little tiny clip of her laying them. Maybe you still have that in your phone, I don't know. Yeah, I'll throw that in the video. And now the red foot tortoises were breeding too. They might have dug a couple holes and laid eggs. I'm not really trying to breed these tortoises and resell them and stuff. No, there's so many people with tortoises, they get them as babies for their kids and then they can't take care of them as adults and they just end up rehoming them and then now we have all these freaking tortoises everywhere. But uh, yeah, let's see what we got over here. I still haven't hit them yet. What is that? No, it's a rock. Be careful, I don't want to break these things. They're nice, round, a little ping pong ball looking eggs. Hi, Jab. You helping me out, dude? Oh, I found one. All right, cool. They're right here. Boom. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. You got one right there. Little ping pong balls. Little freaking literal ping pong balls, dude. Like, there, it's like the same size, almost the same texture and everything. When they drop each other, they make like a sound yeah, too. Yeah, they make little clicking noises. Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch. So, there we go. Let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's a whole lot down there. Five, dude, a lot. Six. Oh, there's a lot. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm trying to see on some of these, it's probably going to be hard to see in the camera. But it looks like they are fertile. It looks like there's some veins inside of there. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Oh my God. 17. Looks like that's it. So we got 17 sulcata eggs. That's pretty good. Now, let's go figure out who wants to eat them. Oh my God. Just no. All right, Bruce, looks like we're uh, fixing your cage today because I just Put my freaking foot through the floor. Oh man, it's always something crazy to do over here. You hungry, dude? 
I got some tortoise eggs for you. I don't know if you're gonna like it, but we're gonna try anyways. Look, tortoise egg, see, you see that? Come here, put it right here. Maybe you wanna eat it, maybe you don't. I'm gonna try it out. Should be pretty tasty, I don't know. See what you think. Look, dude, come get this egg. You see that, dude? Look, right here. Try to eat it. You want that? Yeah. Yeah, give it a taste, dude. See what it's like. He's definitely curious. They're so stinking smart. He's just kind of evaluating everything. He's like, hmm, should I eat this? Should I not eat this? Try it out, dude. It's good, I promise. Let's get his tongue all over it. It's a turtle. You should love turtles. No? You don't wanna eat it? Am I gonna have to give you some rats? Good thing I got a rat shipment in. I don't think Bruce is taking to these. We're gonna have to check everybody else. Maybe the Asian water monitors will wanna slump that down. We got Cammy in the back now. We'll go try that out. That's huge, dude. I don't know if you're gonna be able to eat that, bro. That's a gigantic egg. He loves eggs. Crushes quail eggs. And chicken eggs. I don't know if he's gonna be able to eat this one. He's probably gonna try. Open up that mouth though. Think he could throw that down the hatch, man? I don't really know. If you were bigger. What are you doing? There you go. Ah! Oh, he's trying. Now sometimes he'll hold his head up, he'll crack the egg. He'll let the yolk just slide down his throat and drink it. And then he crushes the egg completely and eats it. So he doesn't always swallow them whole. Yeah, see he's cracking it right now. He's using his teeth to crack it. And he's gonna hold his head up in the air and drink all the yolk out. Come on, show us what you do, dude. Such a good monitor. Come on. Drink it up. There we go. I can kind of see it coming out a little. There you go. There, he's getting all the goods. Oh, he likes it. See, how come Bruce couldn't get with the program? Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's the goods right there, dog. Oh, down the hatch. <laughs> oh, yeah, drink it all up. Drink it up. He loves it. Look at him slurping that stuff. Dude, eggs are just such a good part of their diet, dude. In the wild, that's what they would do. They go and they dig up nests and eat everybody's eggs. Bird eggs, freaking tortoise eggs, all that stuff. Pretty much anything that they can eat in the wild, they eat, they eat everything. The, the variety of diet is absolutely crazy with these guys. Here, let me give you a couple more. I'll put you in your cage. You can enjoy these on your own time. And uh, we'll see who else wants some. Let's go, let's put you back in here, right? Look, put you back in here. Give me some eggs right there, there's some more for you, okay? Give me this one too, because you still got some yolk in there. I'm gonna give him a bunch. Onyx loves eggs, man. All right, let's go in the snake room, see if Cammy wants some. Okay, so Cammy, as you can see, she's very destructive. We moved her outside because she really enjoyed being outside, but she started just really messing up that cage out there and she like cut one of her nails and got blood all over the place. So we had to move her back into this vision cage because there's nothing that she can really get hurt on. But as you can see, she's completely ripped out this freaking LED light. Look how much of the time. such a destructive lizard. But we're gonna see if she wants some eggs. Even though she's destroying her cage, I want to see if you want some treats, Cammy. Look, hey mama, hey you, you sleeping? Ma'am, look, egg. You see this egg? Would you like this? Cammy, look, you see this? I have an egg for you. You want this? She's checking these things out on her own pace. Might have to leave them in here and just let her do her thing. She's kind of a shy eater. She doesn't really like to eat off the tongs yet, especially on the camera. You gonna eat them, Cam? Mm -hmm. She's looking at them. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, there we go. She's gonna give her a little head shake. Oh, yeah. There we go. Look at that. Delicious. Some nice tortoise eggs for you, baby. So she's gonna do the same thing in the onyx thing. She's gonna crack the egg, get all the yolk out, and then crush the shell and swallow the whole thing. Heck yeah, that's a good meal for you, baby girl. Look at that. There we go, there's the crush right there. Crush, slurp it on down, girl. There we go. Nice. Heck yeah. Oh, you're making a yolky mess. So cool though, dude. Beautiful, whole thing, look at that. What a great example. That is what it's all about right there. Monitors love eggs. Slammed one, we're gonna give you a whole bunch, Kimmy, now that you know what's going on. She's like, that, that was delicious, Dad, thank you. Here you go, you get a whole bunch, baby. 
<laughs> so cute. Here you go, baby girl. Nice protein for you. That one hatch. Their teeth are just so sharp, dude. And their bite force is pretty strong too, so they could just crush those things. See how she just crushed that thing and swallowed it? So sick. Tortoise scrambled eggs. Sounds pretty hilarious. Let's see if I can hand feed her right now. You gonna take that nice and gently? Hmm? No, not my fingers. Not the fingers. Here, look. Eat the egg. See the egg? Eat the egg. Yes. I'm very scared. This is my tattoo hand. I'm just gonna put it down right there. We're not gonna lose any fingers today, okay? As much as I love you, I need my fingers. Thanks. So this is the black dragon that Brandon's been working with too, and he's calming down a little bit. You can see, look. You think I pet him? You can never do that. Wow! I spoke too soon. <laughs> so with this guy, I'm just gonna take him and I'm gonna crack him. Small little cracks, dents. Do it! See how you appreciate me? A little turd. Give him a little crack. She'll smell them out here in a little bit and she'll freaking eat those things up. Cammy's still just going to town. She's on like number three or four. Look at that. She loves them. Such a good meal for them. Eggs are great. And that is it for today, guys. Jeremy's got a flight to catch back home. We got a cage to fix now. And I got a million other things to get done over here. Today's my day off. My client couldn't make it in today's daughter's sick. So we're just doing things around the property. Good old Riders Ranch, right? I'll see you guys next time. Appreciate y'all for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on this. I appreciate everybody's support, really. You guys are the absolute greatest. I love doing what I do for a living. It's just a dream come true. Too blessed to be stressed. See you guys on the next one. Love you. Later. God bless. Peace out.